the jaw jacker and I'm doubled up. He's double. Ooh, this is a bigger fish. Double fist and jaw, jaw jacker. Oh, he came up! Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. You know, today's adventure is a fun one. We got the team from Sportsman's Warehouse and Lifetime Products. We're on Pelican. We're catching bluegill by the dozens and largemouth bass. So sit back, relax, and watch us rip a little lip. Oh Walking on that... Uh, the wood, I was thinking, wow, that's kind of squishy. Poof! Right there, nice! There we go. There's a the little guy. Little blue gill. Nice! See my little tiger over there. So you're using this right here just really as and attract it, just mm -hmm. to give it a little flash, something to bring them in. Yeah. And then you've just got a standard ice fly with a little bit of a night crawler on there. Yep, yep. I'm a huge fan of these jigger totters because every little bit of movement, it brings the pull down and so the fish don't feel the tension. Something that I really like. Very cool. Yeah, that is good. Yummy? Yeah, that's tasty. <laughs> I would eat it. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I like to go barbless when mm. I do that. Very cool. Yeah. Well, Going on the ice or well, in the hole? Yeah, we'll keep that one. All right, we got to get a, enough for a fish feed. So we'll put him in your pile right here. You've already, he's already got three going. Ready to rock and roll. Use the worm again. I love the jaw jacker simply because when you're doing a little light bite like this and you're going to run your two pole permit, one pole you can set up and, and if the bite's active, the jaw jacker is going to catch you a lot of fish. And then you get your second hole going next to it. That way, boom, jaw jacker, you're jigging. You just have a chance to catch more fish. And I know if I run over here and the jaw jacker goes off, I've got a good chance I've already set the hook. So give it a try. Sportsman's Warehouse has them, and I absolutely love the jaw jacker. Another little one. Uh, we're using uh, fire tigers on it. We're using a little worm. All the guys use uh, little ugly sticks. Preferred route of the Sportsman's guys. Keeping up with the Idaho boy. Yeah. I'm here with Scott Anderson, who's the Director of Marketing Operations with Lifetime Products. Now, you know what? Both you and I love to ice fish. Okay. When we come out, a lot of people do the bare necessities. They just take their sled and a couple of small things, but Lifetime has some of the best outdoor products available, and we want to show you a couple of them right now. Lightweight tables, lightweight benches. The first one is this really cool table, so walk us through how this bad boy works. Great. This is a four-foot fold in half adjustable table opens up it's easy to carry in your sled it locks in position folds up and is a perfect height for ice fishing to put your camera your fish finder and all your gear if you have food you want to have a lunch whatever you know I love that because like I mentioned a lot of times we we've got these great sleds you can haul things out with and if you're using a wheeler and pulling it yeah. or a sled snowmobile there's no reason you shouldn't pack a few of these products in keeps you off the ice keeps you dry keeps you warm keeps your gear up you can drop it down like you mentioned and you've got a killer setup for ice fishing awesome check out one of their local stores or sportsman's warehouse to get you all taken care of style it up on the ice my friends Nice little bluegill, took him on a little ice fly. A little ice fly, it's got a couple little blades on there, a little bit of action on the bottom. I've actually got a dropper, a little rat finky dropper. Um, got both those at Sportsman's Warehouse and um, they're starting to hit. So it's a really nice little fish. We'll take him back and look for his big brother. All right, so we've only been on the ice about 20 minutes. So far, we're catching fish. We've got four or five really nice bluegill. You know, one of the, the keys to successful ice fishing is drilling your holes, checking your depth, 
and seeing what the bottom looks like. And if you've got a fish finder, it makes it really easy. What these guys are doing is they're just drilling holes. We're dropping down off the bottom using a small ice fly tipped with either night crawler or wax worm or millworm. And that seems to be the, the key as far as getting the fish. And it's awesome. This is a great place to bring kids. Catching bluegill can be a ton of fun. Kids are going to love it. So we're just going to keep working this area and see what happens. Come on, a couple of cranks off the bottom. Been just after I take her pretty quick. There he is, another nice bluegill. Just right for pan size fish. Just using this little jig tipped with a mealworm. Not too bad. Little fish. Nice. First bluegill of the day for Uncle Gary. Look at that right there. Nice little slab. Awesome, awesome. So these guys know what they're doing out here. I changed up to uh, a little night crawler, small little red worm on the end of my hook like that. That was the key right there for that beautiful little fish. Whoa. That's going in the fish fry pile right there. May you make beautiful little slabs, delicious eating. Fish tacos tonight, baby. Fish on. Nice, nice. Number two, if I can get him through the ice. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes. All right, so what you can see right here is this is my jig. That's the bluegill right here on the bottom. And so you can actually see that he came down and actually took that jig right there. That's a great way to use your graph to catch fish. Right off the bottom, here he comes in, takes the bite right there, fish on. That, that's what we're talking about. That's why we came, man. Catching bluegill, he's not going to get my worm. That makes a great fish taco right there. So here's what I'm using. I'm just using this small little ice fly and all I'm doing is just tipping it right here on that night crawler. So I'm just going to try to hook that night crawler right like that. I want that little piece out there just kind of moving in the water. And then I'm coming down right on the bottom and then I'm just coming up about a half a foot off the bottom. Watching my graph, as soon as I see the fish come in, it's usually tap tap, fish on. go. Finally. I just changed lures out too. I had a little ice fly and then I went to one of these little fat fat headed little jigs before I had a, a little gets it on too. So change that out. It's really fun with the camera and everything here. You can you can actually see the bites. Um, I have the sonar there going on. So it makes it really fun. It's really fun for kids too. So yeah, first one. Of course, like everyone else, I'm using the, the tiger jigs with an ugly stick. Now this is a, called a jigger totter. And what I really like about the jigger totter is it has this piece right here that attaches. So all I do is set it right there. Set it on top. It's quick access, easy to get it. And then the other thing that I like is any little bit of movement, it just goes with it. And it just moves the whole pole versus just the tip. Nice, fish on. That's what we're talking about. Hey, hey. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. See, now I like this setup right here. You've got a, a weight, plus you got a little bit of a blade for some flash. A little action, jigging yeah. every once in a while. Let him know I'm there. Dude, he took it deep. He wanted that. Fire tiger jig again. Ugly stick. Guys at Sportsman's love the ugly sticks. Absolutely. Nice. Oh yeah, dude. Bluegillin', baby. It's, it's a ton of fun. This is one of the simplest ways for kids to catch fish, people to catch fish. Driving out to Pelican or your local lake that has bluegill, Utah Lake and others, it's a great place to be. It's a great way to fish. actually hit this butter worm. What that is is a 
kind of a waxworm on steroids. You can see it's a little bigger. It's got a little bit of orange in it. So uh, kind of gives it a little bit of a change, a little color to the, to the waxworm. Sometimes works pretty good. Pretty nice. This is a beautiful day out here, having a lot of fun. A bit hard too. He's here. There he is. About the size of all the other ones. Maybe a little bigger. But man, he wanted it. See, he swallowed that hole. I know, he looks kind of small, man. Yeah? You think so? <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Another one to add to the list. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to teach how to tie a drop shot. So this is a polymer knot, so you're going to go down through the eye. You're going to come back up through the eye. Come back through the eye and leave that loop. You're going to pull about eight, ten inches of tag end right here, leaving your loop. You're then going to take your loop end and your line end and you're going to tie an overhand knot. Just like you're starting a shoelace. Just like that. You're going to take the loop end and you're going to put it over and put your hook through the loop end. and then you're going to pull it tight. And what that does is makes your hook so it stands up when it's in the water and makes your hook stand up. This is a, it's called a Lil Hustler. I like this with a glow-in-the-dark head. It creates a little red collar and I've had a lot of good luck with this for both panfish and especially on trout. So we're just going to tie that on Give it a couple loops. Go back through the loop you created here. Back through your other loop. Pull it tight. You want to wet your line. If you're uh, using fluorocarbon, your line will get brittle and break if you don't wet it. And then going to try and put a little bit of night crawler on one and a little bit of wax worm on the other, and we'll give it a shot and see what it does. I like to thread that up. Throw a wax worm here on the bottom. I'm sorry, on the top. And we'll put her down the hole. Jawjacker strikes again. Nice. Jawjacker. That's what I love about it. Ooh, nice little bluegill. Yeah. The jawjacker. Look at that. That is just a beautiful little fish. This is what it's all about, you know? A lot of guys are all about big fish. Me, I just want to catch fish. Sometimes mixing it up on some of these beautiful little pan fish and having some fish tacos later makes it all worth it. Pelican is a great place to come fish. So, let's see you out here. Expect to see you on the ice next week. Let this guy go. Gone. He's out of here. A little re-rigging now. Fish on. It's <laughs> barely under the ice. Yeah, it was right under the ice. Just barely under the ice. That one. Same thing. A little ice fly. Just tipped with a wax worm. That's what I've been doing the best on all day. A pretty little guy. Slowly bring him, slowly bring him up to that ice hole. Hey, 
Hey, look at that. First pass. Oh, and he just come off to... Got him on my little jig. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's a beautiful bass. Look at that boy. Yeah. yeah. Nice winter bass on yeah. that little small micro jig. Yeah. Had a little the little grub on there with him. Beautiful. Did you have a tip to the worm? I added one of the little mealworms. Mealworm. Little, yep, nice. On there. That's awesome, dude. Worm. Okay, we're going to turn him back. Okay, just set him in there slow. There, big boy. There we go. Fish on, baby. Nice. Here he comes. Nice little gill. Look at that. That's a beautiful little. Oh, the draw jacker, and I'm doubled up. He's doubled. Ooh, this is a bigger fish. Double fisting, draw, draw jacker. Oh, he came off. Oh, <laughs> hey, but look, I still got this one. Yeah, the little guy. That's what I love about the jaw jacker. When they come through, whether it's trout, bluegill, bass, max, whatever it is. Okay, max, I'm not sure about that. But uh, you know what? Bang. I'm going to put this little guy back. He's too small. Beautiful little fish. We'll put him back right here. Let him go down and see his buddies. He is gone. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Bluegill fishing at its best. That time. Woo. That was a lot of work. Well, he just kept biting really light. And so I'd, I'd let back down to him and he'd nibble a little bit and then I'd miss him and I'd let back down to him. So if you get down really quick, they seem to come back and you can get another shot at a lot of fish. Uh, sometimes they won't, but uh, that one did. And uh, yeah, so. Kind of fun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. You know what? We've had a great time. We've had the team from Sportsman's, team from Lifetime. We have caught a bunch of bluegill, lucked out with a nice bass. Yes, it's been an awesome day. Hey, before you head out on your next adventure, stop into Sportsman's Warehouse, get geared up, head over to your local Lifetime stores, get a couple of these sweet tables and benches, get out on the ice. It's not going to be here for long. Remember, same time, same channel, whole new adventure next week.